itchy butthole. This is the common sign effect that I talk about with beta alanine. The reality is the paresthesia effect you get from beta alanine is something that a lot of individuals actually like. They like the feeling of something before they go to the gym. This is why beta alanine is mostly used rather than the actual performance sensing effect. However, does it actually do anything? Is it an ergogenic aid in any capacity? In fact, it can be. It is a pretty reliable source of increasing performance outcomes. However, the caveat to that is it has to be at a saturation of 179,000 milligrams in your body. So when you are using a pre-workout that is underdosed, is there a probability of you reaching that 179,000 milligram total cumulative exposure given your ingestion of a two thousand milligram pre-workout. What about a 3,200 milligram clinical dose? No, none of those are going to do it, unfortunately, because you need to be cumulatively exposing yourself to 3.2 milligrams every single day for weeks on end before you reach that saturation of 179 grams. Is this going to be occurring when you're using a pre-workout with stimulants in it when you can't even use it every single day? No, you're not. If you want to use it separately and add it onto your performance, you know, pre-workout regimen, sure. But if you want to include it in your pre-workout, is it going to be useful in an acute context using it a few days a week concurrently with your stimulants at 3,200 milligrams a day? Unfortunately, it is not. But if you like the butthole itches, face scratches, feet itches, all that kind of shit, then <laughs> by all means, go keep using it.